Hey everybody, Dave here. And today I'm going to take you on a tour of my $50 Ugly Drum Smoker. How I made it and how I use it. So stick around. So what I've done here is I've taken a 55 gallon drum. Cost me $15. And then what I've done is, uh, first thing I did was I started a fire inside of it just to clean it out. Now, the drum that you get should be a food grade drum. And so what I did to, to clean out the inside really good on top of it, because um, sometimes they have a lining in it. And so what I did was, you can see that port there where I put the one inch ball valve. Well, after I cut that hole right there in the drum, I stuck in a piece of tubing about that size, and then I taped a shop vac hose to it. And instead of putting the shop vac on the suction side, I put it on the exhaust side. What that did was create a tremendous draft in it, and when I stacked wood inside, it just came out the top like incredibly, and it just burned everything off in just a matter of minutes. So that's the quickest, easiest way to do that. So let me start at the top, and I'll show you what I've done here. What I've done is I've taken a piece of two inch pipe and I've welded it all the way around the top here. And then on top here, I've taken 12 gauge metal and I cut it in a teardrop shape. I put a quarter inch bolt right here and I put a little piece of quarter inch steel right here and welded that on both sides. And that is my smoke hatch. Okay. Um, this is welded underneath around here too. And so this helps me control how much smoke I want in the drum. And if I want to close it off completely or open it up to get more draft. Then I've put on a handle right here, which is nothing more than a piece of quarter inch uh, flat bar that I bent and a steel piece of tube in here that I welded up. And then on this side, I have the gauge. This is $6 at Ace Hardware. And uh, this helps me maintain what the temperature is inside the smoker. Not necessarily what the meat is, but what the temperature is. Now, on the underside of the lid here, you can see I put a little hook. And this comes in really handy for when I take, take the lid off, I can just hang it right on the side. Okay, that's again, just a piece of quarter inch steel out of an uh, inch and a half bar. Now the grates, I made myself. Now you might notice that they're expanded metal and they are just regular steel. There, there is some rust on them, but I wire brush these before use. And so let me take one out and show you how they look. Basically, it's just quarter inch rod that I put all the way around and bent handles for. I bent the handles in on both sides so they're easier to get in and out. This is a larger grate than the bottom one. And again, these can just hook on the side like that if you choose. This bottom grate is a little smaller than that one because I, what I have here is 5 16 bolts. I believe they're 2 inch that stick through. And what I've done is cut the, the first one down on this side so that I can get the grill in easier. This grill comes out by lifting, putting it all the way over the side, and then just angling it up. And again, I can hook that on the side as well. Now inside, what I've done is create this firebox. All right, um, let me pull it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Basically, it's just expanded metal with some thin angle iron on each leg and expanded metal in the bottom. And what I've done is I just put it together and tack welded it all the way around. I made this handle here so I could pull it out easily and the handle folds down out of the way of the grills. On the inside, what I've done is I made a heavier plate. You can see it there to help catch the ash because I didn't want anything um, falling directly on the bottom of the, the drum. And I drilled a couple of little quarter inch holes in the bottom so any rain that might collect in it would go out. But you see it didn't it's uh, not collected it, or it has collected in the tray. And so I'll pull that out and dump it. On the sides here, what I've done is I've taken and welded um, 
a coupling in there. And then what I've done is, or actually this is a bushing. And what I've done is taken a plug and welded a piece of half inch bar on here so I can take them on and off. I have never really used those. I have one on each side, as you can see. And this is the main draft vent that I use in the front. I had this bowl valve laying around, but if you need to buy one, it'd be about maybe $15. What I've done is directly welded in a piece of one inch pipe right there. And then on the bottom here, I welded a piece of angle iron across the front lip and bent some metal underneath. Right here. So that I have a standoff in the front. On the back, I've taken two wheels from Harbor Freight. They were $3.99. And I welded a short piece of 5 8 inch rod on each end of that angle iron and then welded the angle iron to the bottom of the drum. Then all I did was slip the wheels on there, mark them and cut them so I get the right length. And then what I did was I drilled out the rods, put a washer on each side, and I put a cotter pin right there. That is my ugly, ugly drum smoker. Then what I also did was I welded a handle on the back right here, as you can see, so I can move it around quite easily. Now, I use this drum mainly for doing cold smoking, up to like 150 degrees, 160 degrees. I don't usually hot smoke, although sometimes I do. But I've found that that one draft down the bottom, that one inch pipe, um, is more than adequate to burn the uh, uh, charcoal how I need it. Now what I do for charcoal is I use lump coal like this. And what I'll do is I'll take the wood that I'm going to put on there and I'll soak it first. Then I'll line the, the lump charcoal all around the edge like this in a big circle and then maybe into the middle if I want a longer burn. Then after, after the, I'll light this side, I'll dump, I'll use my chimney to dump in there and I'll show you that in a second. And then what I do is I place the charcoal or the wood that's been wet um, on top and I'll use apple wood or whatever other hardwood I choose. And then this will burn slowly like a cigar all the way around, which gives me a cold smoke of about 150, 160 degrees. Okay, now whenever you're using cold smoke, it's really important that you use some kind of curing salt or nitrate um, because you, you want to eliminate any chance of bacteria in that. And this is the starter chimney that I made. Very simple. I used a V8 can and I cut the bottom out of it and then I drilled holes in it. Then I ran some screws um, through the middle of the can about a third of the way up and then I placed that uh, lid on top of those screws and ran screws underneath it to hold it in place. Then I took a regular can opener, the V kind of style that hooks on the lid and I went around and punched the holes. And then I welded a quarter inch handle on it with a hook. So this way I can just hook it right here in the handle and it's always there. So then what I do if I want to just put the grill back in, go right on top like that and again they set on they set on those uh, bolts around the corner there and that's it I just grab the lid here put it back on any way I desire and that's the smoker I smoke fish in it I smoke jerky in it I'll do sausage bratwurst uh, all kinds of uh, my game uh, my family tends not to eat a lot of the steaks and stuff of venison, uh, but they do like the ground beef and the sausage, and so that's what I usually make in here, as, long as, the, as well as the jerky, which they really love. So guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you watching the video. I hope this was helpful to you on this walkthrough. I didn't do an entire bill, but i show you how I did it. The total cost of this drum was probably somewhere around $50 total, including the wheels and the grills. Now, you can buy the grills on Amazon that will fit this. They're about $22 a piece, though. So this way, I made my own of everything. 
The steel I got was 40 cents a pound, so the angle iron, the the rods, the, the piping, all that, um, I get it at a scrap yard and for 40 cents a pound, there's maybe uh, 20 pounds in there. So you're looking, uh, you know, about $8, okay? So um, really it's about a $50 build and you can do it yourself too, really. So guys, again, thanks for joining me. And I just want to say that, you know what? Part of our channel, a big part, is not just about helping you guys enjoy the outdoors more. It's helping you to enjoy the creator of the outdoors as well. And, you know, if you're not sure how to have a relationship with God, then I would really encourage you to check out my book called Growing Deep. It's listed in the description below, and the best part of it is it's free. All you have to do is click on it, and in it I tell you a little bit of story of my life as well as how you can come to a relationship with God the way I have. And not only that, but how to walk with him from that point on. So, the book, again, the book is free. I have several books down there, ones that, that share with you about my journey with cancer and how God healed me, as well as some others. But they all point you back to God. And, you know, if you're at a point in your life right now where you feel like, you know, you need to have that relationship with God, maybe it's something you've been putting off, um, I'd encourage you to, to take the time now to pursue that. And so the books are there to help you do that. Again, thanks so much. And, you know, if you got a comment about the, the smoker or, you know what, if you like this video, please hit that like button. It really helps us promote more videos. And don't forget to subscribe, too, as well. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be up to, video, up to date on all the videos as soon as they come out. Until next video and, and until we see you again, thanks so much for all you do to support us. And God bless.